Hello and welcome to this how-to video from the Blue Prism University. My name is Leona Vanderhoof and this is a short how-to video on submitting a form in Blue Prism's Interact. In this session we're going to look at how to access Interact, the steps for submitting a form and viewing submitted forms. So let's first open your browser and navigate to the authentication server site. I access via a desktop icon, but you can also manually type in the address. You may be required to sign in. If so, provide your username and passwords. If you do not have these, contact your system administrator and they will provide you access and supply the credentials you will need to use on this page. When your browser opens, you're on the application selection page. You may just see one, or in this case, two tiles, one for accessing Interact and if you have access to the Blue Prism Hub, you will have that tile as well. So we're going to select the Interact tile and the home page will open. On the Interact home page, you will see a list of all the forms you have access to. You can filter the form by specific categories, or you can search for a specific form by its name. And if you have a long list of forms, you can specify the sort order. There are three tabs across the top of the page, Home, History and My Work. On the Home tab, as discussed, these are all the forms you have access to and can be subsequently completed and submitted. In the History tabs, these are all the forms you have previously submitted. The My Work area will have a number against it for the items that need my attention. The default view in the My Work area is for forms that are in draft. I do not have any in this instance, but I can tell from the left-hand navigation pane there is an item that needs my attention in approvals. Let's open a form, the HR change of address form for example. We click on the form tile to open the form and view the information. Click the select button to display the form. We'll complete the required fields following any formatting required. There may be a next button available if your form has more than one page, but in this example, we only have a simple form to complete. Once you have completed all the data within the pages of your form, you could click Submit, and this form would reinsert itself back into the Blue Prism process. But in this example, I'm going to select as save as a draft, as I want to double check that address and return to the form later. Within the history tab, we land on the submission history. As our item is still in draft, I will not see it in the submission history tab. However, what I do see in this page is the status column that will tell me if a submitted form has been approved or declined, or if it needs further approval, this will have an awaiting approval status. The approver will be notified the form needs to be actioned. Under awaiting approval, I have those items that are awaiting to be approved. The archive section will show all the forms that you have chosen to archive. By clicking on the ellipses button, those are the three dots against any of these interact forms, will give you access to the further menu items for the form you are looking at. In this screen, we can see we could possibly view a submitted form or open the form, perhaps for further editing. We can also submit that form directly from this menu and also delete the form. As mentioned, other forms and other parts of Interact screens will have different menu options. These may include cloning as well as archiving options. So let's return to our form we have in draft, the change of address. I may need to revisit this form, so I go to the My Work tab and it will default to the draft section where I can see my form. I may need to revisit this form, so via the ellipses button, I open the form and complete the data. I then submit it. That submitted form will now appear in the submission history list. I have just received new information about another change of address, very similar to our last form. So via the ellipses button, I can either clone directly, or if I open the form, I can choose to clone it from there. I overwrite the inherited values from the original form with the new information and then submit that form as well. 
Thank you for watching this video. We've worked through the steps for an end user to navigate and access Interact. We've looked at the ways that a user can submit an Interact form and how to view the details from a submitted form. If you wish to learn more about Interact or any other Blue Prism Interact features or other Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Also visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions via the link in the description below.